Hey, 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 welcome to Triple A Wednesday, which stands for Ask Alyssa Anything. And in these sessions, I'm responding to questions you've left in the comments about the publishing industry and how to write a better book. I love getting to talk about different topics that I didn't know was even of interest to you. So please keep the questions coming. I'm really loving doing these sessions and getting to speak to you a bit more directly. Before we dive into the questions today, a couple pieces of housekeeping. I promise I'll keep it short and sweet. First, hit that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because why not? We have built an amazing community of more than 26,000 authors. Who wouldn't wanna be a part of that? All right, housekeeping over, let's dive in. Can you speak on the range of an advance when a book sells at auction, in a preempt, or in an exclusive submission? I'm sure it varies, but I wonder if those kinds of deals indicate a range of an advance similar to how good deal, et cetera, can indicate a certain amount. So advance amounts in the traditional publishing industry are confidential. Even within the industry, you might not know what another editor paid for a specific book. You might be able to figure out through the grapevine, of course, but it's not public knowledge outside of the publishing house that makes the deal. And of course, the literary agent that is on the other end of that deal. First, I wanna go over the range of deal sizes that publishers marketplace lists on their website so that if you see a snippet someone posts of their book deal or you're browsing Publishers Marketplace, you understand what this key means and what their terminology means. So to them, a nice deal is $1 to $49,000. Now, when we're talking about big five publishing houses, there's not gonna be a book deal that is less than a few thousand dollars. So don't worry that you're only getting a couple hundred dollars for your book deal. You would never be on that low end of the range. Then there's a very nice deal, which is 50,000 to 99,000. A good deal, which is 100,000 to 250,000. A significant deal, which is 251,000 to 499,000. And then a major deal, which is 500,000 and above for the advance. So this terminology is a bit misleading because very good or significant doesn't really sound that great. But if you're getting to that level, meaning a six figure book deal, that is quite rare, particularly for a debut author. I'm not saying it's off the table by any means for a debut author. When I was in the industry, I saw debut authors get six figure deals, but I would say it is not necessarily the norm. It's a sign that the publisher has a lot of interest in you and really sees a lot of potential in you, which is a good thing. Now, as for your question, can I speak to what the general range is for a deal that is in a preempt or a deal that is in an auction or a deal that's an exclusive submission? The answer is the advance has no correlation to how the book gets sold, if that makes sense. So for people who are less familiar with the industry, let me talk about what each of those terms means. So a preempt happens when a literary agent submits a manuscript to a group of editors, and then one editor loves it, gets the entire publishing house on board and says, we're gonna offer you this, take it or leave it. But if you take it, you have to remove the submission from all the other editors who are considering it. It's, it's now or never, basically. That's what a preempt is. A preempt would typically be a bit higher than maybe a publisher would go at auction into as their first round, just because they're really trying to get it off the table, right? It's like eBay where you have a slightly higher buy it now option versus if you are bidding with other people. I don't know if that's an outdated reference, if everyone still uses eBay or not, let me know, but that's kind of the clearest example I can think of. Now, an exclusive submission would mean that the literary agent is only submitting to one editor and one editor alone. They have to take it or leave it. I would say that's quite rare because the literary agent has the interest of getting you the best possible deal, which typically requires sending out a submission to, you know, several editors. So that's not as common. Then you have an auction, which is where several editors at several houses or several imprints are bidding and making their best offers for your book. And auctions can go to several rounds. So maybe there's a round of four publishers, they all come in and then the agent says, okay, you know, next round, we're at this level, you have to meet you know, the highest bid or you're out basically. That said, there's no blanket statement I can make that you're gonna make more at auction versus a preempt or you're gonna make more at a preempt versus an auction. It completely all depends on your situation. 
but I hope that gave you a bit more framework on how book deals work and what the different advance ranges are. Before we head into the next question, I wanted to let you know about a free resource I created specifically for my YouTube community. It's called my Story Self Assessment Worksheet, and it's a fun, easy quiz designed to help you look at your manuscript from a different perspective and identify strong points in it, as well as areas that you could improve on the next draft. Downloading that's also going to sign you up for my newsletter, where I interview publishing industry insiders and successfully published authors, and I'm telling you they're giving some amazing advice, so I don't want you to miss out on all of that. If you wanna go straight to the newsletter, the link is also in the description. All right, we have time for one more question today. Do you have any advice which publishing house I should choose? Which one do you recommend? So when we're talking about getting a book published by a traditional publishing house via a literary agent, then the choice between publishers is going to come down to who makes you a book deal offer, right? And your agent will certainly be able to walk you through the benefits of going with one publishing house or specifically an imprint at a publishing house, because remember, the big five publishing houses are broken down into many divisions called imprints. So your literary agent will help you figure out, oh, this imprint would be a really great fit, you know, artistically because they have a lot of books in the same genre. But this imprint maybe has a more experienced editor who could really help you develop your craft. Things like that are how you will likely sift between publishing house offers with your literary agent. But in that case, you would not be coming up with what publishing houses you want to submit your manuscript to. That's largely going to be your agent's job because that's what you're frankly paying them to do. And when I say pay, I mean your commission, which is 15% of your book deal that goes to them. That's why you're giving them that money. They understand the industry. They know all of the imprints. They know the editors at the imprints in many cases. They understand what certain houses are good at, what other houses are not so good at, and they're going to help you make sure that your book finds the perfect home. Now, if you are in the position of submitting directly to publishers and you are unagented, maybe you're going with a smaller independent publishing house or you're looking at hybrid publishing options, then I would encourage you to just do a ton of research. When you're in this space, submitting directly to publishers without a literary agent, unless these smaller presses are very well known and highly regarded, of which there are some, you are in a tricky territory where you could pretty easily get scammed. I have several videos that talk about hybrid publishing and scams to look out for, so I'm going to link that in the description to help you. I would say the biggest, most important piece of advice if you are communicating directly with a publishing house who has expressed interest in working with you is ideally they should not be asking for any payment from you. In a traditional book deal, the publisher pays you for the rights to publish your book. But now we are seeing more and more so-called hybrid publishers emerge where they're asking you to pay either partial costs of production or full costs of producing the book. And that really gets tricky because you need to figure out why you're working with that publisher to begin with if you have to pay them to publish what are they really providing you and you have to look at the rights they are asking for ideally i would really recommend working with a lawyer if you can the authors guild also has a ton of resources for looking at publishing contracts you want to make sure that if you don't have a literary agent you are advocating for yourself and you're not signing away your book rights or at worst paying someone to take your book rights away from you right that's all we had time for today if you have a question you'd like to ask, drop it in the comments here and it will be added to my queue. Before you head out, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe button to join my wonderful community. And don't forget your free story self-assessment worksheet and my newsletter link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and happy writing.